How's it going? So, this is about working, this is about creating a image component and then working with it, right? So, the first thing you do is you create a component, okay? I'm not gonna type it out because I've already done that. So, you create your component, you create your styles. I'm using SAS, right? And then SAS will create your CSS. Then you import your styles. You can call this anything you want. Okay, so this is your import, which is this file here. Then you want to destructure to get the to get the CSS out of it, right? You can do it either this way or you can do it like this. Styles the image container, it makes no difference. I, I prefer to the structure to be honest with you. Alright, so now we have the structured, right? Uh class name image, we don't need this in here at all. Okay. Then you have to import your image. We don't need this in here at all. Alright. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set the image to fill the div. The way to do that is you set width and height of the image to 100 and layout fill. And this is very, very important. You need to set the container to position relative. Otherwise, it's going to create a big mess. You have to You have to set it to position relative, right? If you don't, then you're going to get this blob basically it's gonna look like this you will try to kind of you can try position you can try position responsive it's a big mess the best way to do it layout fill position relative and it fits nicely into the container you see it's perfectly into the container so now we have our um, now we have our Media queries in Next.js are exactly the same as standard CSS, so you don't have to do anything in here. Just create media query, right? And then it's going to be responsive, okay? You see, it changes the height based on the width. So if width is bigger than 1000, it's 400. If it's smaller, it's 200. Then obviously you can play around with your media queries, all right? And then finally you want to display the components. So you go to your index, um, you import the component, which is the image, and then you insert it, which is standard, standard component. And that's pretty much it, all right? Easy peasy. Take care.